Hey guys, JNM again here with an update for FastCalf, my hard surface add-on for Blender 2.8. After you installed the add-on, the latest version is 0.7.5, you have to set the target object for bool operations first and the default is that these operations will be applied immediately. A new feature of this version is the mode for primitives. The default setting is create so that for the shape that you painted a mesh is created, but there's also difference and union are set to difference now and this means that when apply immediately is checked, a difference operation for the primitive that you painted is executed when you press the enter key. So switched here to the primitive mode by pressing ctrl shift and p, then I draw in a shape and the first time I press enter the shape is closed and when I press enter again the shape is cut into the target. And as you can see the primitive mode is not closed, I can go ahead and draw in a new shape and again cut away apart from the target. And with this new feature you can do booleans like that very fast. The next step will be to add new primitives like circles or rectangles. When you draw a shape and you are not quite happy with the starting point, for example here, then you can press the enter key when you just added one or two points then the creation of the shape is stopped and you can restart creating your shape for example from a different starting point. Ok let's cut out another part here in the middle and once you are finished you can press the escape key to exit the primitive mode and then you can for example switch to edit mode and add some modifications to the mesh or you go to object mode afterwards and bevel the object. Ok, as always let me show you some Python code, this time the functions to execute the boolean operations. These are executed also in the create object method and first I check if the bool mode is not set to create, as you can see this is also a scene property and then I get the current target object and prove if it is set, so if it is not none, and then I get an internal ID for the current bool mode, here you can see that the slice feature is planned already, and this ID I use as an argument for the execute bool op function. This is a function that I reuse, I imported this, so I can use this for the other bool operations of the add-on as well. If the option apply immediate, this is also a scene property, is set to true if it is checked, I delete the object that I used for the current bool operation. So let's have a look at this function execute bool op. It has two parameters, the target object and the bool method and this can be difference, union or intersect. First I let the target object be the active one, here I fade in the method that I implemented for this because that's an important Blender 2.8 API change. And then I call a method to add a bool modifier and apply it. First I create this bool modifier, then I define a name for this, I call it FC bool, and after that I set the operation of the bool modifier to difference, union or intersect depending on the parameter bool method. As I explained in the previous part, I recalculate the normals for the object that I use for the bool operation just to make sure that they point to the outside, not to the inside, and if the option apply immediately is checked, I apply this modifier. In the other case I have a pending boolean modifier and then I set the display type of the active object to wireframe. Ok guys, that's what I wanted to show, I really hope you like it. New features will come soon, you see this is under heavy development. And again add your wishes or ideas to the comments below. If you want to support this channel and this add-on, consider being my patron, this will really help a lot. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on JNM.